AI with Excel. How can I use ChatGPT with a practical example, a practical situation, and make ChatGPT help me to make some analysis from to this sales report that I have here? Because I just downloaded the sales report from the software that we have here in the company, and my boss came to me and said, I need you to make some analysis from this data set that you have here into your computer. But the problem is, I don't know how to make analysis here in Excel. I don't know how to do formulas, functions. I don't know how to use it. But ChatGPT knows how to do it. So ChatGPT is going to help me. I actually don't know how to do formulas and functions in Excel. Let's uh, pretend that, OK? So let's see if ChatGPT can do everything for me. The first thing that you can do is download this Excel spreadsheet. Just click the, the link in the description, and you can download this file 100% free. Just click on the link and download it. I have here in the sales report information, search date, brand, product, salesperson, customer total, and GM, cross margin, for example. The first thing that we can do here now, that we already have here this Excel data set, I can select everyone that I have here, and I'm going to input this data set into the chat GPT. I just select everyone here. I'm going to press Ctrl C to code. I'm going to come back to chat GPT. But before I just paste here and send the message, I'm going to ask here a simple question. That is, what type of, it's everything here in uppercase, but uh, it doesn't matter. What type of analysis can I do with the data set below? And then I'm going to press here, Shift Enter, Shift Enter again. And then I'm going to press Ctrl V. I, I'm using here the shift enter because if I just press the enter only, the, the enter key, uh, it's going to send the message to ChatGPT. So that way I'm going to press here shift enter to break the lines. Okay. So what type of analysis can I do with the data set below? And here I just input all the data set and now I can send this message and let's check out if ChatGPT can actually help us. The first thing that the ChatGPT is telling you here is the data set you provide contains information about sales transactions involving various products, brands, salespeople, customers, and related metrics. Yes, okay, ChatGPT is corrected. So he could identify that uh, the, the file that I just input here is from a sales report, basically. The first thing, the first talk that uh, we have here is sales performance analysis, for example. Analyze the total sales over time, daily, monthly, to identify patterns, trends, or seasonality, for example. Okay, it's a good topic, it's a good analysis to do. Now I am already having some insights. Customer analysis, product analysis, salesperson analysis. I think I'm going to stick with this number fourth here, this fourth topic that I have, salesperson analysis. Evaluate the, the sales performance of each salesperson in terms of total sales and or profit margins. Now I already know what type of analysis can I do. But I still don't know how to use functions, formulas in Excel. How can I do it with a practical example? How can I do it? How can I take this and input in Excel? I'm going to use this fourth topic here as example. And I'm going to ask here ChatGPT, for example, how can I calculate the total sold by salesperson in Excel? How can I calculate the total sold by, by salesperson in Excel? I actually, I think it's important to emphasize that we are using Excel because let's say ChatGPT gives here a formula that is about Python, for example, or uh, JavaScript, for example. It makes no sense huh? because we are using Excel. So just to make it clear, I'm going to input Excel here, a keyword, let's say the way. So I'm going to press here and enter and see here if ChatGPT can help me. Okay, he already gave me here an example. I think it's good. He gave me basically two examples. The first one is the sum if, and the second one is using the sum ifs function. And also I have here a start date and an end date. Let's stick here with the first one. Here the chat GPT gives me some instructions. The first one and the second one. Create a list of unique sales people in a separate column. For example, column I without duplicated. You can use data, remove duplicates feature to get this list. So okay, in the column I, I need you just input all the sales peoples or salesperson name that I have without duplicated. Here in the column I, I'm going to type it in, let's say, Anna and also John, because it is these two salespersons that I have, Anna and John. Now let's go back to the chat GPT and see what he's telling us to do. In a adjacent cell, for example, in column J, next to the first salesperson name, 
enter the following formula to calculate the total sold by the first salesperson. Okay, so let me select everyone here, Control C, or I can actually click here, Hold Code to copy the code. Now I'm gonna come back here and uh, in the column J, okay, column J, I'm gonna double click here in the cell and press Control V. Let's see if it's gonna work. It's, it's kind, it's kind of look like it's gonna work. So enter. Okay, so Anna sold six thousand and two dollars and thirty cents. Okay, let me now just drag it down. Click here in the down right corner of the cell. Click hold and drag down to calculate here to join to six seven twelve and forty cents. Let me select this two here and put it into the currency formatting. So on the tab, and here I'm gonna click here in this dollar sign. Okay, now I got here my first analysis. Now I know how much each one of the salesperson that I have in this data set sold. I have here the, the result for Anna and also the result for John. I can also just type it in here, for example, total sold per sales person. Now let's come back again to ChatGPT. We are already done with the, the first analysis. And uh, as you guys can see, I actually don't know how to do formulas or functions in Excel, but uh, it doesn't matter because ChatGPT can, uh, can really help me with simple questions complicated questions, I can do specific questions and ChatGPT can continue to help me. Now let's say he already gave me here a lot of topics, first one, second one, third one, fourth one, and so on and so on. Now let's uh, say here to ChatGPT that I want you to do the following analysis, for example, because I have now insight. How can I calculate sold in each one of the days of the week, for example, in Excel? Why am I asking this to ChatGPT? Because I think it's important. Let's say, what's the day of the week that your company just sold, just sell the most? It's Monday, it's Sunday, it's uh, Tuesday. I think it's important because knowing that, you know, oh, uh, Monday we sell a lot. It's the day that we always sell the most. So in this particular day, I'm gonna just open early and I'm gonna close later, for example. We're also gonna need more employees in this specific day of the week, for example. So I think it's a good analysis to do. And how can I calculate the total sold in each one of the days of the week in Excel? Let's here press enter and let's see if ChatGPT can help us with this question. So, okay, ChatGPT already is giving me two functions to use, three functions here. I don't know where should I start, but let's say here, uh, let's start reading here total. Calculate the total sold for each day of the week in Excel. You can use the sum ifs function along with weekday function to group the sales by days of the week. Okay, so here uh, ChatGPT is pretty smart because if you take a look in the Excel file, we actually don't have any information here that specify, let's say, the days of the week. Of course, I have here all the dates, but I don't have uh, day, the day of the week, for example, Monday, Tuesday, and so on and so on. So ChatGPT is already realize it. Here is how you can do it. Assuming your data is in columns A to G with date in column A and total values in column F, follow these steps. First, in a new column, let's say column H, use the weekday function to calculate the day of the... So yeah, ChatGPT is pretty smart. So he is actually use a new column to calculate, to extract each one of the, the weekdays that we have within the date. So for example, I would understand what ChatGPT is doing here. We have here a bunch of dates, January 1st, 2024, January 2nd, 2024, January the 3rd of 2024, for example. Uh, and uh, we don't have here the day of the week, but with the function that ChatGPT is giving us, we can basically take a date and we can extract the day of the week, Monday, Tuesday, and so on, so on. So we can actually do it. Uh, let's get back here to ChatGPT. And I need to use in a new column, let's say column age, use the weekday function to calculate the day, okay. So let me copy this code here, code. I'm gonna come back to Excel and I need to use the column age. So I need to create here more space, more blank columns. Let me click here, let's say column I, J, and K, and then right click, insert to create here a more, more blank columns. And here in the column age, I'm gonna double click here, control V, enter. And as you guys can see, it's returned for me the number one because maybe the January 1st of 2024 is the first day of the week. So let's just double click here in this function to make sure we can put this function to all the rows that we have. So first day, second day, third one, seventh day of the week, first one, second one, and so on, so on. And uh, now, uh, yeah, I think uh, ChatGPT knows what he's doing. Now below here, uh, drag the formula down to calculate the day of the week for all the rows. Okay, I already did it. Third one, now in another column, let's say column I, list the unique days, day of the week, 
numbers without duplicates, 1 to 7. Ok, 1 to 7. Ok, now I think I understand what ChatGPT is doing. So 1, 2, 3, so on, so on. So let me just create here a sequence, 1 to 7, for example. So maybe the, the first day is Monday, the second one is Tuesday, so on, so on. We can continue to count with using this logic. Now in a cell next to the first day of the week, for example, cell J2, enter the following formula to calculate the total sold for the first day of the week. OK, let me just select here and then I'm going to Control C to go. Now we're going to come back here to the Excel here in the cell J2, for example, Control V because the ChatGPT tells me that I need to use the J2 cell. OK, let's see if it's going to work. Enter. We are returning here zero because we are using as criteria the cell I2, for example, that is this cell right here. But I actually, in this cell right here, I actually need to have this sequence. So maybe it's important to take this sequence here and move up a little to make sure we can use the number one as criteria, the number two as criteria, and so on, so on. So let's take this here, Control C, for example, and I'm going to place it here. Okay, so the first day of the week have had sold $69.7, for example. And I can also click here in the down right corner of the cell and drag down. I can know now uh, how much each one of the days of the week sold. But I don't know for sure if this number one corresponds to the, the Monday, for example. I'm going to ask ChatGPT what the number one stands for in the weekday function, I think. Yes, in the weekday function. Okay, so let's come back here to this bar here. What the number one stands for in the weekday function. Enter. Let's see if this, this number one is actually Monday or if it's another day. So, okay, the number one stands for Sunday, and the number seven stands for Saturday. The number two stands for Monday, the number one for Sunday. Okay, so I actually understand. So the first day that we have there, the number one is Sunday, the second one is Monday, the third one is Tuesday, and so on, so on. So, okay, now we basically have here two analysis. Maybe I can just select this two right here and drag it out to underneath this other analysis that I have here, total sold per person, and in here I can uh, type in total sold per day of the week, for example. And as the number one stands for Sunday, I can all, of course, just type in here Sunday, and I can drag down, for example, like this, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and I can also select here everyone, these values, this currency that I have, and put it into the currency format, for example, that is this dollar sign, okay, like this. Okay, guys, so now we already have two different analysis. Total sold per salesperson and total sold per day of the week. So ChatGPT indeed helped, helped us with this analysis. Now, of course, I can organize it better. Uh, maybe I can move it to another spreadsheet. And now I can deliver something to my boss. I already did here two analysis. And I can also continue to do analysis. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any suggestions to the next videos, let me know. Comment down below and I see you tomorrow. As everybody has a new video, I see you there.